Let's do a quick walkthrough of the AtScale application. We'll demo two things. First, the creation of a model in AtScale. Uh, this model that we're going to create is actually going to be connecting to a small Cloudera cluster that's running Impala. Uh, you can see here in Impala we've got a bunch of data sets. Uh, I've got my clickstream data, my dimension data, and my fact tables all sitting uh, in this Impala cluster. And within AtScale, I've actually configured AtScale to connect to that cluster. If I go and look at my environments, you can see here that I have a Cloudera cluster set up and I have my Impala analytical warehouse configured. And so pr for purposes of this data uh, demo, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and build a model that will run queries on top of this uh, Impala cluster. And uh, it will also create aggregates that live within Impala. So I'm going to start here within Design Center. Uh, on the main canvas here, you can see we have a few different ways that you could jumpstart the process of creating an at scale model. Uh, I can start from scratch. Uh, we have a nice little set of sample applications that come packaged with at scale models as well as sample data that you could load into that Cloudera cluster. Um, and for example, I could load some data into that AS Adventure schema. Uh, we can get our sample sample applications out here on the download the at scale download site. Uh, we are also working on several other uh, panels that will be on this screen. One to import existing Tableau workbooks. Uh, we're working on prototyping integration with at scale uh, with Cloudera Navigator Optimizer, where we can actually look at existing SQL scripts uh, that are analyzed by Nav uh, Navigator Optimizer and create models based on the workloads. Uh, that optimizer is analyzing. In this case, let's actually just go look at what an at scale model looks like. Uh, I've got my internet sales cube right here, and this internet sales cube is uh, based on top of the data that's sitting in Cloudera. Um, if you remember when I was browsing uh, the catalog before, we saw all of those dimension tables. Here's that click screen data, my customer file, all of those date dimensions. Some of these tables have been dragged onto the canvas, and within the at scale canvas, I've created what looks to a typical data modeler uh, like a star schema. I've got a fact table, I've got a date dimension. You can see within this date dimension, there are things like hierarchies. I've got day, month, quarter, and year. What I'm building as I'm creating this model, if I look at my preview, is a set of measures and dimensions that are going to be viewed by users of tools like Tableau or Excel. So instead of the user, the business user needing to know how do I navigate through and understand all of the relationships between all of these different tables that are sitting on the cluster, uh, what a Tableau user is going to see are customer attributes organized uh, like hierarchies, um, they're going to see date attributes, and they're going to see some nicely named measures and dimensions, things like customer count, uh, product metrics, and sales metrics. So that's what the design experience looks like. Once I publish this model, it is now available for query uh, from BI tools, like a Tableau or an Excel. What happens in the back end is the, uh, the Tableau uh, workbook is going to query at scale, uh, query the at scale model, and then at scale is going to subsequently execute those queries uh, on the Cloudera cluster using Impala. So let's actually uh, open up this Tableau workbook. Uh, this Tableau workbook is uh, pre-configured using something called a Tableau data source file to represent the cube as it was designed with an at scale and hide the complexity of the underlying data model. So once Tableau accesses that metadata, you'll see that things are organized just the way they were organized within Design Center. I've got those data attributes, uh, I've got a product hierarchy, um, and I have all of those measures uh, down below. So let's just run a quick report. Let's look at order quantity, um, and maybe let's order, let's uh, take order quantity and group that by product name, and maybe let's uh, go and break these product names down by the color of the actual product. What's happening right now is Tableau is sending queries to the at scale engine, and at scale, the at scale engine is interpreting those queries. 
So let's go quickly take a look and see what's happening on my Cloudera environment, the environment that AtScale is pointing to. And the first thing we'll do is we'll look at the user queries. So if I look at some of these user queries, you'll see that there was a query that asked for color and product name and the measure of order quantity. If I look at the details of this query, you'll see two things. The first is what we call the inbound query. This is the query that Tableau submitted to AtScale. Tableau asked for color and product name and order quantity from the AtScale virtual sales queue. This is not data that has been materialized. There's no data stored within AtScale. AtScale actually turned around and based on our understanding of the model, we pushed down this query to Impala. Uh, the query that we pushed down was to get color, product name. Uh, we actually executed a regular expression to pull color out of a nested data type field. Uh, we selected that data from the fact internet sales table that's sitting on, uh, on the cluster and we did a join with dim product using a key relationship that had been defined by the modeler. So this, act, this is actually the query that you would see if you went and looked at Impala and you looked at the query log, um, you'll see that uh, the query that I, that I ran. Um, you'll also see some other queries. For example, you'll see that AtScale has actually created an aggregate table. So there are two things that happen when AtScale uh, satisfies a BI tool query. The first thing is we return the data that the user is asking for from that queue. The other thing that we do is we evaluate, does it make sense to create an aggregate table to satisfy a future version of this query? So if I go and look within my Cloudera cluster uh, connection and I look at the aggregates that have been created in that environment, what you'll see is that AtScale has recently created what we call a demand-defined aggregate. This is an aggregate that we determined makes sense to build without any uh, designer needing to tell us that it makes sense to create this aggregate table. Stored in this aggregate table uh, are color and um, product name, along with all of the associated metrics. Instead of having millions of rows of data, this only has 158 rows of data. The benefit to the end user is that subsequent queries, so let's go and just in Tableau refresh this exact same query. So I'm telling Tableau rerun the same query. Ad scale is smart enough to know that the next time it sees a similar query asking for these ad, uh, attributes, that it should run against the aggregate table instead of the raw data. So if I go and look at my query log now, what you can see is the same what we call inbound query. So Tableau submitted a query saying, I want color, product name, and order quantity. Uh, this query was satisfied when it was pushed down the cluster. We executed this query using Impala. But you can see that this time, we actually hit an aggregate table. We did not go back to the raw data. So we're keeping all of the data on the cluster. We continue to use Impala as our execution engine uh, because Impala does really well with both those really big queries but it also is a really uh, well-architected uh, parallel database for handling those small queries. Um, so we've reduced the total throughput on the cluster. For the user, we're giving them the exact same answer as if they were looking at the raw data, and we're handling all of these queries using Impala. So hopefully that gives you uh, a quick sense of the inner workings of AtScale, uh, how we integrate really nicely with Impala to deliver a uh, a great de both design experience uh, by building at scale cubes on top of the data that's stored in Impala as well as a really great query experience by abstracting the complexity from the business user, delivering performance with aggregates, uh, but doing that all automatically without moving data off of the cluster.